So let's build the radio. This is the finale of the season. The last bit or uh, one of the things I said was a requirement to build a radio station. And here we are. The reason for that is I think radio station is like the end of you have everything done what needs to be done um, to expand your population. It's quite early for a radio station. I would maybe start first the second city and then build a radio station, but now we're looking at it building up. Also to have a comparable thingy, um, radio station is quite a big uh, challenge to build because it needs around 350 tons of steel and steel as we seen in the last episode cost me uh, <laughs> Uh, around 700 ruble a pop. The prices were driven by the, I think, constant demand which my um, construction industry produced over the years and a little bit of inflation. Inflation is around 5% a year. Uh, we start with a steel price of 370 uh, ruble. I will make a conclusion episode where I look a little bit deeper into the prices, but now let's enjoy the build. So the groundworks are done and we will prepare for the rest of the build. I check my city and my surroundings if everything still runs as expected. Um, yeah, looks good except for the money situation which is a strain. But my factories are running on high gear and um, I can continue with the second stage. Uh, I will provide some workers and uh, provide the materials which are needed. Limiting a little bit the steel import so my... Is, uh, you see the, <laughs> the lines at the border. Um, Limit the steel import so my money will not run out away immediately. But you see now I'm at zero money. 
So I have to stop the steel import, regain a little bit of money. Ah, and uh, <laughs> my glorious uh, chemical factory didn't work because, yeah, you see it here. Something always missing, some pipe connection always not there. Chemical factory was the last um, cornerstone of my um, clothing industrial complex to make me as much money as possible. With this complex, I make around 50k of uh, pure profit a month. It's around 70k of exports, and uh, I need for my people and for little imports for the chemicals. Um, so the, the best products of the chemicals like oil and gravel, you know, food, alcohol, everything what my people need. Uh, it's 20k a month, roundabout. Next episode will be a deeper look into the numbers and give you exact numbers on that. Yeah. But the steel is uh, pulling out like not tomorrow. Doing little optimizations, checking if everything is right. Ah, comparing the prices also to the western border. Um, western steel is not much cheaper than eastern steel. The prices are linked. Quick look at the economy and still worrying about the money. <laughs> yeah, except from the enormous amount of steel the radio station needs, it also has a more enormous amount of workforce or work days which need to be pumped into the building. So it's around uh, 6,000 work days, which we can make happen slowly but surely. Slowly also because I cannot pump infinite steel into the building. So here preparing everything, making everything work so the building can continue. Delivering all the materials to the side except of the steel. Also, what puzzled me was the unemployment situation. Um, it shouldn't be there, so to speak. Um, I will solve this during this episode. Give you a quick spoiler it was the House of Intelligence which has restricted workplaces, but it's not needed anymore because I have enough in um, academics so the workspaces are taken out from the free houses <laughs> and my uh, super nerdy house um, is out of work and this was responsible for all the all the unemployment in, <laughs> in my republic yeah Always checking going around. Um, the episode is in real time, one and a half hours. I didn't want to sit you through this. So um, here's the first and last time lapse in this series. Doing little optimizations on the uh, road to the. So my factories still work as fast as they could, delivering to people as fast as, the, as, as fast as possible. And going back to the construction. So, little optimizations, I um, will buy a small truck for the chemicals, um, I will put out the burden of the 
crop distribution um, to deal with the chemicals. I will export also the chemicals if they are overflowing in the main storage. Just a nice little surplus. Every scrap of money is still needed because, yeah, steel. <laughs> money for the steel, please. This playthrough was um, also a big consideration in play with the um, speed factor. And I wanted to demonstrate how to continuously develop the country so didn't need time lapse or cuts or jumps in time before, because I always had to do something. The more you get into the details and try to push out the last 5 or 10% by micromanaging your nation, the busy you are and um, it does not get um, very uh, boring, at least for me it didn't. One of the things, for example, I didn't start the whole sit build of the city at once. I had uh, priorities of buildings which I want to finish, um, get the city rolling so I have internal work workforce which speeds up the construction greatly because you don't need buses to uh, drive them around. After you have a basic city build, you can simply populate and go on. I'm checking my buildings if the um, academics are okay. Restarting the construction site. Checking monies. I think now everything is done here in the micromanagement side of the things. Uh, the city is running by itself. If you don't push too much uh, on the money side, we'll be fine. Again, checking storages. If, uh, I can do something to speed this up or this. Small, small things. <laughs> Construction resumed. So minimal crew and uh, one, at least one tower crane, uh, you crack down the construction days, uh, the work days. It's more the problem of uh, checking my crops. Um, the last harvest went good, uh, so my crop silos are not uh, went down to zero. You see here, everything is delivered except for steel. So we can uh, go on with the workdays and uh, balance it with the steel import. If the workdays are finished, um, I will re reactivate the steel, but I don't want to run on zero rubles, it's no good. Consumer goods will not be imported, for example. And we go on to the second stage.
checking again the in income side, checking again how much uh, ruble we have to play with, checking how much steel we need. And if it's okay, we will restart the import of steel. Like I said, to balance the work days with the steel import. Also checking for the steel prices, if they have fluctuated massively or not. If it's too fast, you can uh, stop the video at any time and go, uh, for example, to the point or comma key on the keyboard. You can jump around the frames. Look at the windows I check. If it interests you. I'm basically making sure that uh, Money comes in as fast as it can. Construction is always um, running. So we don't run out of steel, but also don't run out of money. Which you see how fast it goes down if I activate the steel import. Checking numbers, looking at a great picture. The imports and exports. Yeah, the radio station is a massive project and also it's far too big for such a small population. But um, with the introduction of loyalty, I think it's a cornerstone of a good society because uh, you only can, for example, separate your people by loyalty if you have differences in loyalty, if you have only passive buildings for loyalty, everyone is the same in loyalty. So with my uh, passive buildings of 18% in the vicinity of the housing, let's say 15% at the working places, I get a loyalty of 27%, which is enough to work with, but um, also not so great if you want to develop your population further. The effects of the radio are quite fast, so after a year you feel the radio influence. Um, and also, to educate the non-radio listeners, uh, you need teachers uh, to raise up the loyalty of your workers. Uh, you need loyal teachers um, for the prison, you need loyal guards, so the quality of the prisoners can rise. And at the radio station itself, if you have loyal uh, radio speakers, so higher productivity and the higher loyalty, the numbers which the radio station produces will become better. Under usual conditions, I would uh, ask myself what is the next industry I want to crack. For example, I could go for the steel, which is not a good starting industry, but if you are in the second stage, so to speak, in the game, have population, have a industrial um, ground to stand on. You can go for steel, but you need uh, coal and iron mines, you need lots of transport belts which are quite expensive and steel and uh, infrastructure like rail many people to uh, to do this so mine needs around 200 people two mines 400 people uh, workers and uh, steel mill up to 500 workers so let's say you need a thousand workers times three the old shift rule so you need a population of 3,000 and I have a population of 1,500 workers to make this work. So um, this is why steel is not a good starting industry, but it's a good industry to get rid of the steel import costs, which are hurting me greatly. Yeah. And here we are, finishing the radio station. Inviting the people to the radio station and uh, picking the numbers. And in a conclusion episode, I will show you a little bit of the numbers. Maybe we do some time jumps here and there to show you the influence of the radio station. And I thank you for following me on this season. It was a great journey and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the demonstration of how to start up and uh, with this foundation, which is a little bit, uh, yeah, on the non practical side. 
because um, the radio station eats up a lot of people and I cannot uh, educate everyone. I can only have the radio listeners. Yeah, but we will crack the numbers next episode. Thanks, comrade.